today I'm doing a um, week in my life. So today is Tuesday, November, what, I think the 29th, if I'm not mistaken. I really don't know, honestly. But we're going to Kamari's two-month appointment today, so she will be getting shots, her first shots. So I'm so nervous for her. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so we're gonna go do that, and then we will also maybe go by Walmart. So, right now, I'm currently packing her bag. Excuse my guess on bed isn't made up, yeah, need to clean up. But I have an extra outfit in here some Pampers wipes, one bottle. So, um, I need another bottle i'm gonna grab her milk from around the house and yeah i'm gonna finish packing her bag i'm gonna get ready and then we'll be on the way to her doctor so i haven't really recorded any videos since i recorded my um her room tour so it's been too much y'all <clears throat> Plus some, like I didn't have her. I think I used the mommy hood a little bit. I've really been trying to enjoy my daughter and get used to being a mom, honestly. So I really haven't been focusing on recording content just yet. I'm gonna make a video, I don't know, before or after this one. And it's just gonna be kind of introducing myself because I know I haven't showed my face like in my first video. So I haven't talked about who I am, what I do, what my channel gonna be about, nothing, right? So that's coming, and then a lot of more content is on the way because I have a lot in store for next year. So really soon because yeah, I got a lot of stuff coming which I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more in depth about when I do my video about getting to know me, but. So today, you guys just want to watch me get ready, get myself ready, get her ready. Well, she's already ready, actually, but get her, like, stuff ready, I guess. And then, of course, I'm going to record at the doctor's office, which I hope she don't do too much. <laughs> and I hope I don't do too much because I am extra, so. I don't know, but seeing my baby cry might make me cry. So I'm putting another bottle, well two bottles in her bag, which I use the Dr. Brown bottles. Um, so yeah, that goes in there. She got one of her pacifiers in her mouth. She do like to suck different pacifiers at different times. So yeah, I have to make sure I have all of her pacifiers that she likes. She living in here scrubbing her daddy. He's like literally asleep. We're gonna go ahead and pick out my clothes real quick. And then we can get started. Get it ready. I didn't get to record any clips at my daughter's um, doctor's appointment because it was quick, sad, so we were so close together. I know y'all might hear her crying in the background. She's with my mom right now. I'm currently working, um, so I'm going to get signed in, situated, then I'll come back to you guys and talk in a second. Okay, um, so right now we're just getting settled to work. We're just getting settled to get our stuff. So what I'm going to do is organize my desk for the night. Kind of clean up my area and then start 
star right now. I kind of let you guys see me working and see what I do throughout. My office tray is supposed to be getting delivered today, so I might record my boyfriend putting it together while I'm working. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, enough talking on to me working. I literally struggle with plugging this phone up or I know about a good 15 seconds and that's just ridiculous but yeah I couldn't get it open so that's what I was doing here so as I'm cleaning off my desk like you see I got a baby bottle this literally a no baby zone but she managed to find her way in every area of my life so it's always something that hurts around but I'll continue to screen up my desk to get my day started for work. This next clip, you guys want to see me working on my MacBook, and this is not my work computer. I actually have my personal computer sitting at my desk as well, so I can do personal stuff and work. And as I'm on my personal computer, my boss said something to me, so that's what I was doing <laughs> after I stopped working on the computer. Also, the point of this clip, I was just showing you guys on my computer basically downloading the apps I need for editing and other personal apps that I was looking for. So I'm just showing you that in this clip. It's gonna end today vlog. I really wanted to catch some footage of me on the call at work, but it got so stressful. I forgot to get record before I started. And then once I started, it just got crazy. So I wasn't able to do that. So maybe I'll be able to include a little bit more of my work life or my work day in another day this week. But great up, because the one day this week I'm actually gonna like prep for December because today is the 29th. And yeah, it's 30 days. Yeah, um, hopefully I can include that at some point. So to end the night, just so I can feel some sort of productive, I'm actually gonna spray up the house a little bit. It's not gonna be any plain. Please don't think it's gonna be any plain. At 11 o'clock on a work night. No, ma'am. We're gonna surround the house and then we'll go from there. Let's see where life leads us. Let's clean this house up. Or better, better spray this house up. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay guys, so this is my office. <laughs> and I know those who have watched my um nursery video or seeing like baby stuff you like girl what's going on here so this is my office slash my baby nursery my baby is only two months so she doesn't sleep in here obviously she's sleeping in her bedroom so i borrowed her um room as my office so yeah this room is clean those clothes i have right there are clean but they're too small for her so i'm actually gonna start like you know her two small clothes out up bringing the other clothes out whatever this chair my mom let me borrow so that's actually going back to her house it's very uncomfortable so i did go ahead and order me a chair and this is the chair i was talking about earlier but i ordered this from walmart on the cyber monday and let me tell you i say 10 out of 10 for comfort now it vibrates um vibration i will give a 6 out of 10 only because i don't like how it sounds it's kind of loud it's not obnoxiously loud where you can't use it, but it's loud enough that I pay attention to it and I don't like that. But yeah, so if you guys want to end up detail with my desk and what I have on my desk, what I keep around my desk, you guys can let me know and I will do that. But yeah, that is my clean finished product of this room. So yeah, this is just like a junk thing where I just keep random stuff and here I actually have a method to my madness on this one. But yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna move to the next room, which will be my junky master bedroom. And we're gonna get her cleaned up, and this will probably be the last room for tonight.
what the reason why I'm working for before. I'm going to do a end of November check-in, which honestly I have already done. But yeah, I'll probably show that. I will do a December um, start of the month or whatever to be called. I have already did my monthly layout to just give me an idea of what I got going for the month so far. And then, yeah, I'm going to go really and definitely set some goals for myself. And do all that good stuff to get prepared for December, which I already basically got it laid out, but I'm just gonna put it a little bit neater in my planner. My door is still trying to wake up. Okay, so yeah, guys. Good morning. Okay, yeah, yeah. She up, she said. Well, just gonna go back to sleep right now. But yeah, so yeah, my plan is just changed because I was about to do something to my hair. It's a must that I do something to my hair, which I really haven't figured out what I want to do yet. But honestly, I might do these look down. I get my mom to braid my hair down for me in the back and do a ponytail on top of That's my what we gotta do. But the only thing that is, I literally mean, just cut my tracks off a week. <coughs> not a week, yeah, because it's a week right now. So yeah, that's not gonna be as quick as I really wish it would be. But I'm gonna get baby girl settled for the morning so he can see her, change her, all uh, those type of things. And as we chilling and doing that, I'm going to maybe go ahead and like plan for the week because I haven't done a weekly planner just yet. Um, I really don't have too much like business, I guess, to handle this week. But I do um have some things I want to get jotted down in. This is what today's gonna look like. I have nowhere to go outside of the house. So we've been chilling today. I cleaned up some last night, mostly the back of the house. So with the front of the house, I need to continue to wash this like, my, my washing area. I wouldn't say my washing room because really my dining room that we have nothing in that I have turned into my laundry room. But yeah, that's a mess. I have a couple of clothes to get done. Baby girl clothes are clean, so at some point I will probably fold her clothes and yeah hopefully get to work so one day this week i have to work overtime in the morning because i missed two hours monday evening um so i have to flex the time i think i'm gonna actually do it saturday when i can possibly have it today because i'm ready to do it like early saturday morning and get it over with maybe i don't know i'll hate to put my phone in now for like two hours before my schedule friday i'm gonna work with her today and see what's possible because i think her morning um, orientation is Tuesday through Saturday and I don't have that time so I kind of want to catch it early in the morning because I know my trainer like she wastes time so I'm feeling like early in the morning they'll be getting settled in their day and like talking and things like this so I don't know I feel like it makes something about it maybe not maybe I'll put my foot in my mouth I don't know I'm gonna see but I really do actually hopefully real work day shift in my job because when my classes will be at night when in the evening We'll see how it goes. Let me get myself and what she's gonna do, and then I figure out what I'm gonna do, and then I show y'all what I'm doing. Well, yeah, guys, look at my baby. She's so pretty. She's so pretty. Say hi, YouTube world. How y'all doing today? My name is Kamari. My name is Kamari. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. What's good, yo? What's the little? Can I play your Jesse? Mm -mm. Okay, y'all. So, like I was saying, she crunk up. Or was finna crunk up. So, let's do baby girl morning routine. Which I start off by changing her. Say, y'all. Say, y'all. Yeah. I get changed in the morning. I drink a bottle in the morning. Me and mommy have cold time. Say, y'all. We do all this. We do all this. Can I play your text again for so long? Oh, yeah, yeah. What it is, yo. And I call. <clears throat> I follow the thing to the mom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you talking about me. 
You're trying to tell mommy what's been going on with that baby life. You're trying to tell mommy what's been going on. But I think the bottle warmer wasn't warming because we didn't have enough water in it. Because it's working perfectly fine now. Hey, mommy, I want milk. But yeah, guys, so we're going to do baby girl morning routine. Which is really just like feeding. The stylist yet because me and my mom is going to go to Walmart first. So I might just actually get it on and put my a cap on. So I can go to Walmart and get the things I need. And then when I come home, um... I'm sadly and then we're gonna get ready for work because I have to be at work at one o'clock. So this is like a very realistic morning routine with me. Like this is how my mornings go. The only thing different is some mornings she sleep more, some mornings she sleep a little bit less. So um or like up morning with your one is politically correct. But yeah, we're going to I'm in the bottom one more, we're gonna chill for a little second. And you can not feed her honestly, I'll do something else. Like I'll plan my day or something something y'all you have to as a first time mom as a mom period but i learned like you have to learn how to fit things in your schedule in between time i thought my cap is completely dry and looking how it's looking looking to put my wig out but yeah you have to really fit things in your schedule how everything fit it's not no more free time where it's like okay i have unlimited time to do whatever i want to do for myself or my spouse or whatever no baby routine baby schedule is number one period is number one everything else baby is extra and if you're working in your schedule if you figure it out kudos to you because i completely understand now why people say like babies like how people try to say babies in your life i wouldn't say wrong i wouldn't say wrong it's not a good word but babies are a big change babies make you have to like worry about them 24 7 you're no longer number one at all like in every situation you're on the back burner so to be able to accomplish your goals to be able to actually do things while having a baby you have to know these women are strong you have to know they're dedicated they're pushing they're tired okay like for real because being a mom is a full-time job in itself then you have people out here with full-time jobs like me then you have people also like me yes i make it about me <laughs> care but who's also gonna add school to me so it's like y'all you have to be dedicated like you have to be on it when i say on it you have to be on it it ain't time for all the extra career, the bull, bull crap get your people indulging in sitting around scrolling facebook all day and people business talking about people you ain't got time for that as a mom when i say i'm a mama no drama like no literally no literally and people they make time to do the necessary things and positive things for yourself, your future, and your baby future. Look, it's, it's kudos to you because it's hard. It's hard. And this with the father. I'm not a single mom, so imagine without one. Like, for real. Imagine without one. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it's even tougher. I don't doubt that. But yeah, so I bought a woman a little regular, so I'm trying to finesse that. Good morning. Um, so today is day three. My vlog this week is December first. So we're currently on our way to get something to eat before I have to clock in at one o'clock. So we're gonna have a little family time. I will record some footages of that, and then when I get home, it's gonna be time for me to get on the clock. So I will record me getting situated and then we're probably gonna plan for December. We finally made it back home. I was a minute late getting on the clock with this okay day. I mean, that was a minute open. So, 
this is the best for you, boo. Coconut. I thought it would be nasty, but I really like it. But yeah, so I'm gonna sit here, chill, wait on them to start the Zoom and us to start working. Um, yeah, I'm gonna plan for December, start to write some of my bills out. I get paid Friday, so I have bills that I need to pay. I actually get paid now, so I might pay some bills already right now before I get my Friday paycheck. Um, and yeah, we're gonna chill out for a little bit and wait to get our birthday started. I'm gonna let you guys watch me work, watch me playing a little bit and stuff like that. And maybe I can get the audio of me actually taking a live call so you guys can see my customer service skills. But for now, we're gonna chill out and you guys can watch.
Cause I really just want to put in the chat and ask my, my stereo to restate it like how she did for you yesterday. Um, customer handle offline troubles happening and wow. She has already troubleshooting. Miss Holly, I'm still here with you. I just wanted to let you know that I'm here. So what I'm thinking we can do, and I know you are you said you already troubleshooted and like unplugged the transmitter and everything. Um so what I'm gonna try to do is reset your panel on my end and that because I see your panel is offline and you said that your screen is also black. So resetting your panel on my end will be a little bit easier than having you to do the power cycle, which will be like unhooking the panel, taking out the battery, unplugging it from the wall, all of these steps, which if I can get it set on my end, it'll just be a little less steps that you have to take. But if I can't do it on my end then we would just have to power cycle your system, which would just be taking the battery out, unplugging it, waiting 60 seconds, putting the battery with plugging it up first, putting the battery back in, and that usually handles our problem. But I'm gonna try to work something out on my end. I'm a little, can you hear me a little bit better now? I am, right, because I had pulled it up a little bit closer for you to hear me. But what I was saying is I'm going to try to reset your panel on my end because I know you already told me you already troubleshooted and, you know, hey, got up and unplugged your transmitter and all this stuff. So if I can reset it on my end, it'll be less steps you have to do on your end. So that's what I'm working on now. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm great. <laughs> great. <laughs> okay, yes, ma'am, I will. Give me one second. Okay, so it says chicken. Yeah, we do code one, code one. What does the panel say? Miss Holly, are you close by your panel right now? Okay, can you press your map, put your master code in for me and press one and then press your master code in again and press one and let me know what does your panel say? Oh, you told me the panel is blank. I'm sorry, never mind. It's, it's most definitely important and I know you have your system to protect your home so I completely understand that let me ask you something did you change like anything about your Wi-Fi your Wi-Fi provider your router your password your username anything man and it's not complaining you just want your panel to work you know I completely get that is it <laughs> right I and we want you to do that and we want to keep our customers happy that's how I go um do you have a wall mount or is it a tabletop is your panel screen on your mounted to your wall? Or is it just sitting on your table? Your panel itself. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Right, right. He is replying to me in teams and like this is the same thing you went through yesterday. Like the same exact problem. So I edit Wasteria, Wisteria, I don't know why can I get her, but I edit Wisteria to ask her, can she just do it on her end of resetting the camera, resetting the panel for us? Because it's the same problem, literally. 
like literally. Right when she can simply just reset it. She, yeah, and she said her transmitter is, um, she has to get on. Because I said, um, is the screen black? And he said, yes, me to into this one. Mm -hmm. What is her name? Holly. Hilly. He said she's not checking out. What's up there? She said she's checking out. I said, pull the camera. Right, that's what I put. I think I definitely spelled ladder wrong, but that's okay. And I know I spelled it wrong, but she knew what I was talking about. And that's okay. But yeah, so this, I see this is, this is what I have to do every time. So I like unscrew the back and then you kind of take the battery out and unconnect the battery cords from the battery connector and unplug the power supply, which we know now is the transmitter. I didn't know this yesterday. And plug back up the transmitter. I mean, plug back up the camera plug and reinstall the battery. Secure the battery container. They be waiting forever. Hey, John. Um, yeah, she has a blank, a blank panel, and um, so I know I would have to power cycle it. But yesterday, um, Mercedes had the same problem, and with Stereo was able to go on pulse on you guys in and reset her panel. And you know, I, I know the trouble students feel, but the lady says because she really has like. Had been having problems somebody that came out she didn't um troubleshoot it already and everything before and she was saying she had to get on a on a ladder and she can't do that right now and if she got to do that she'll pay for a, a tech and all that so just to kind of keep her calm i was just trying to see could mysteria or whoever not even just a, right whoever could that be reset the pulse mm -hmm. she a tech been out there already and she didn't troubleshoot it the next day after the tech came out because her it wasn't fixed like she said the panel started back doing the same thing and what's so weird i guess it's still on test so it's not sending you know being that it's st still having a problem that it's not sending out a signal to the ahj because this was on i didn't put it on test this was on test when i got in here hold on hold on yes ma'am i'm still here um i'm just looking through your account still i'll be have a solution in one second okay john hold on and she got a she had a job created today a smart install. Yeah, she said she she wanted another panel. Mm -hmm. I don't think not yet. Man, when you said the technician came out the other day, did she install the new panel or was she troubleshooting your old panel? Okay, yes ma'am, hold on one second. Yeah, so they didn't put the new panel in, they just, they was troubleshooting the old panel when they came out. She just requested the new panel today. Okay, so when you spoke to the salesperson today for your new panel, did they give you a exact day they was coming out? Yes, ma'am. Let me make sure my, they sound good right there. Okay, I said when you spoke to the salesperson today for your new panel, did she give you a exact day of your appointment when they supposed to come out and install the new panel? Right, I, okay. Yes, ma'am. I just wanted to know your exact job date. I completely understand it. Oh, 
I understand that and I can understand the frustration of your panel not working and I'm going to do my best to get you working or get you a solution or answer tonight um and I appreciate you sticking with us these two weeks so we're going to work on this um and I'm going to come right back to you okay I hear you, John. Yeah, I hate got scared. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but no, yesterday, what I'm saying is yesterday, Mercedes customer had the same problem talking about her panel was black and like this same exact thing and the power cycle. You know, 